Hey YouTube, uh, today I want to do a quick, <laughs> I started talking, the dog was like looking up, starting to freak out. But anyways, hey YouTube, I uh, today I wanted to do a quick um, product review and uh, just kind of show you um, almost an unboxing, if you will, on uh, this, it's a UBZ selfie stick. I got it on Amazon.com. It was said it was normally like $42.99 or $43, bucks, which is like really crazy price for a selfie stick. But it was normal price uh, $17.99. So it was on sale for $17.99. And I'm not an Amazon Prime member, so I messed up. I guess it was on like a like hot deal or something like that. And it said $12.99. I thought I was gonna get it for $12.99, so I just went ahead and bought it and thought, oh, well, it'll just fix or charge my card or card or whatever later, so. Anyways, I ended up paying $17.99 for it. I'm not a Prime member. I'm not gonna pay 100 bucks to save five on the selfie stick, but I'll go through some of the different stuff that it comes with because I was actually really impressed um, for the extra $7 compared to what I've seen. I've seen selfie sticks around 10 bucks, right? Um, pretty basic, but from the extra seven dollars, I can see where the quality uh, really is there, and it's it's really worth it, especially if you're going to be um, if you you enjoy having quality products and something that's not going to break right away. So I'll go through some of the uh, different extras that it came with and um, kind of show you kind of how it works and all that. Okay, so the first thing that we have is actually the the selfie stick itself. It does have a carrying handle, which is kind of nice. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do with one hand here. It does have a carrying handle that's kind of nice. Um, it also, it has this little um, spot. Let me see if I can focus on this. It has this little, on the bottom here, you can actually screw into it. And then on the top, it has, let's see if I can focus on this here. It has the screws, like so if you have a digital camera or something like that, uh, you know, a little digital camera, you can actually screw your digital camera onto the top of this, um, which is actually kind of cool too. And this guy, it, uh, if you, it locks here, so you can unlock it and then you can pivot it and rotate it and manipulate it how you want to. Okay, so to show you the telescoping part, so you, you, you just twist it, so you see this action, you twist it like that to lock it. To unlock it, you just do the opposite. And you can actually feel each section click. So once it's locked, then it won't go down. If you want to put it, you know, lock that much right there, you can lock that much and it's, you know, it's not going to go in. Um, it's actually pretty good quality. It's, normally I've seen selfie sticks where it's really uh, thin tube. This is, um, this looks like a much larger uh, tube. It's probably just the same thickness, but I bet you if I, I bump this on the ground or I bump this on the edge of something um, with those other selfie sticks, it probably wouldn't, uh, it would probably bend and uh, probably wouldn't go, that part wouldn't telescope anymore. But this seems like it's pretty good quality. It's, um, it's pretty good, I mean, you know, the uh, there's some people that are like, well, how heavy is it? Whatever, okay, but this is that's um, it's pretty pretty hefty. This is even this is metal at the top here. This is the screw that's on the top is metal. Uh, even on this part right here, it's it, this part is plastic, but the part that you actually screw the tripod into is is, uh, is actually metal. So it's not like it's going to wear out very easily, at least. Um, so let's look at, let's look at, oh, it also, it also came with a, a bag. It says, comes with a case, has a drawstring. <clears throat> it's actually a decent, decent case for, it's kind of nice to have the case because it does come with quite a few pieces. kind of nice to be able to throw everything in the case. Um, strap and everything. It looks like this is adjustable. I didn't realize that. But it looks like it is adjustable. But uh, it's, uh, this is, I've actually been carrying everything around in here. Uh, pretty convenient. And then it looks like it comes with the directions. It tells you how to lock, unlock. It looks like it goes up to 32 inches. It tells you how to use the other accessories. You can hook your GoPro up, whatever. It tells you how to put the tripod on. And then it 
looks like these are the directions for pairing the Bluetooth remote. So it also came with this guy here. So I noticed there was like a screw thing in the back and I'm thinking, okay, well that's gonna go on there. Your camera's gonna be pointed straight up. That's kind of dumb. But it also has one here as well. So this is the one that I use. So I actually screw that onto the self stick just like that. And this, I thought this, I, this to me didn't look like it, it, it would be, it would open big enough for my phone, um, but it definitely does. So if you look, it's kind of hard to do with one hand again, but you can totally see that it does open up quite large, so you can fit an uh, iPhone uh, Plus in there. I also came with, <clears throat> this is the tripod that came with. Now, I was the first thing when I grabbed this. I I was surprised because this is this is heavy. This is like a heavy piece. So um, also it's metal. The whole thing's metal. I mean it does have these like rubber feet, I guess, which is nice because that way it doesn't like slide around on whatever. But uh, if you go to put this guy on here, you can screw this guy in. And I think because this base is so heavy, it gives it actually a nice sturdy little uh, kind of framework. So it doesn't, you know, if I'm, I'm bumping it on the top pretty hard and it doesn't want to, you know, just fly over. So, you know, of course you have your multiple hundreds of dollar phone on top as well as multiple hundreds of dollar uh, camera on top. Um, so, you know, you definitely don't want it to be just flying over. Let's get this guy put on there. Okay, and then also the nice little touch that I really, uh, I really kind of liked was it actually came with this remote. So you can turn the remote on. Of course, I'm not gonna press the button right now because my camera would stop recording. So you can turn it off. But when you want to go take a pic, if you're in your camera mode, and you press the button, it will take a picture. If you hold it down, it'll do burst mode. If you're in, if you have your camera set to video mode, <clears throat> that will um, start recording. So I said, okay, well, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lose this, right? Cause it's like, come on, it's like a key fob, right? So, but they also give you this little plastic kind of holder that just snaps right on, like that. And then it's perfectly made to actually Snap this guy in there. Sorry, I got red lights flashing. I got live PD on. It's, you know, perfectly kind of slaps on there like that. So, you know, overall, for 17 bucks, I'm pretty impressed with this little guy. Um, definitely got to use it. Definitely got to uh, try, try it out. Um, but I'll give an update and see kind of if there's something I don't like or there's something that I do like. Uh, if you want me also to um, to try something or test something out with it, go ahead and, and in the comments down below, go ahead and uh, write a comment if you want me to run a test on it to see kind of how it does. Um, but thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time on Julie's Autograph.